Hey guys, I'm just out here rigging the boat. We're getting ready to hit the water. I'm posting a video real quick, another one in the chart series. It's for Smith Mountain Lake. Uh, this is a series that I spoke about. I'm going to go over every chart that I possibly can, most of the places that I've fished before, and just tell you how I would attack the lake depending on the time of year. If it's a lake I've never fished before, I'll probably have a guest captain with me, someone who fishes it a lot, and just to help me out with that. Now, I just want to reiterate, the point of this series isn't really to give up spots or tell you where to go to catch fish you know, by exact numbers. Uh, even if I had something like that, it really wouldn't do you any good. The idea is to help people who are new to the striper fishing and freshwater game and help them understand how the fish move within the lake depending on the time of year and water conditions. So some people may look at this and say, oh man, he's giving up spots and that's not what's happening at all. It's just helping you understand how the fish move. And uh, I know one guy asked me, well, are people gonna get mad at you or something? No, no one's gonna get mad. Uh, the reality is the the more hardcore you are, the better you are, the less you are threatened by stuff like this. It's just to help someone who's just getting started or maybe uh, they're struggling a little bit in their first few years and need a little bit of boost. So I uh, hope you guys like these. Uh, if you have ideas for the lakes, put them in the comments. Always give me a thumbs up if you can. That helps a lot. And subscribe if you haven't. Love you. Mean it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. I've been doing some videos on different charts. A lot of lakes in the south here what we're going to do is go over each chart and just help guys who are starting on that lake to uh figure out where to go you know for for the time of year you want to fish so for all four seasons we're going to do a bunch of lakes i did uh chesapeake bay for winter time we're on smith mountain lake right now my buddy dave and he fishes here a lot he lives right here so i'm gonna have his opinion in here on what to do for each season on smith mountain lake all right so dave we have a smith mountain chart here all right let's go ahead and start with spring springtime you don't have to give away hot spots don't you don't you want to burn local spots and make a lot of enemies or nothing no, but no, no. someone's going to get started what's a good place for them to start in spring i would concentrate toward the upper end on the roanoke side okay up in the upper upper like toward the, the last buoys around the trestle area uh, yeah. we talked about boards right earlier yeah. so you do boards and floats yeah Gizzard shad, gizzard bait. Yep. Herring, if they can't, if they can't get gizzard bait, you can Hell use herring. Wise. Right. All right. Uh, so on the upper end, it's basically a river up here. So pretty, pretty much in the main stem or the up in the. From all the way from, actually about a mile below, probably Bay Rock, all around. Point on the map. Where's Bay Rock? Um. It's Hardy Bridge here. It's right in this area. But I would concentrate anywhere from Mormons all the way up up the river channel. Basically anywhere up here in this stretch. Yep. All right. And they even this is all good areas down through here too, and all these creeks, any creeks. All right. Boards, floats, no weight or very, very lightweight. All right. Now, summer, main lake, yep. right? Main down lake. Dam, deep down line. Down lines, trolling. That's pretty much all the same. Most of these southern lakes. Alright, so for, for down lines, you're going to use two, three ounces, use your trolling motor, get over uh, main lake points, run around with the gas motor, look right, yep. look with your fish finder, mark your fish first, run around, run around, run around, don't just pull up to a spot, say this looks good and fish. The advantage of fishing in the summertime is the water surface is very warm, so the fish get down enough to be underneath your electronics. That's an advantage. They go deep, now we can mark them easier. Because the deeper they are, the wider our cone is on our fish finder, so we can find these fish quick. So get out and run on plane, run 20, 25 miles an hour. If your electronics are set up properly, you should be able to mark fish no problem at those speeds. Uh, if you want to pull up on a point in the main lake, slow down and look around for fish, you can do that if your electronics don't mark well at high speeds. But think main lake, you know, main lake near the dams and stuff like that. That's pretty much the same with all the southern lakes. All right, fall. We talked about fall. Now, this lake does have a nice false run where the fish move all the way up to the top just like they're spawning. Yeah, a lot of these southern lakes have great false runs. Kerr Lake has it. Uh, this lake has a strong one. And that just means that the fish act like they're spawning. They'll go way up the rivers in the fall, October, November, when the water cools off, usually when the leaves turn brown and start to fall off, fall off the trees. These fish will have a false run. They'll behave just like they're spawning, but they won't spawn. I think it has something to do with the shortening days. The days get a lot uh, shorter, the water gets cooler, and they kind of feel the urge to migrate, but they can't migrate. That's just my theory on it. 
and with, they scatter with, everywhere. One with, day they're here at the bridge, the next day they're up here. They just, right. just but, bounce around everywhere. But the thing they have in common is they're all up here. Yep. They all move up the lake and you can get up here and find them and, and really have some incredible days. 20, 30, 40 fish days. They may not be huge, but lots and lots of fish on that false run. So that's that's hard to beat in the fall. You won't maybe catch your, your biggest fish then, but great numbers. That's pretty much all the southern lakes that, that pull water. Yep. Over here's a great area too, all the black water side, but I know nothing about it. So that's where I'd go fishing y'all guys. <laughs> <laughs> Stay over here. I fish over here. All right, winter, what we're doing right now. We're yep. pretty much still up here, right? Back just all over from Hales Ford Bridge up. Just bouncing around looking for good warmer water searching warmer water temperatures mm -hmm. i'm looking for bait can we catch a fish while we're doing this all right also winter if you're not a bait guy and you want to troll i know we've caught fish around the main lake a lot of the main lake points just inside these creeks trolling umbrella rigs anywhere where you don't have to deal with trees of course Right, and chasing birds is another good time. You know, the good thing because oh, yeah. looking for birds in the winter. Main lake, secondary point, stuff like that. I imagine it'd be the same down here. It would have to be the yeah. same. I just mm -hmm. never fished that side. Yeah. Casting flukes, running, looking for birds, trolling main lake points. Good stuff. Yeah, I would think back in the summer, I meant to say too, would be a good thing to do is a lot of bite fishing with the trolling. Yeah. It's really good at night. I know this lake is really or big. Or not for trolling, no. Casting, yeah. casting, casting the red, the red fins. fins. Yeah, in the summer months. Yeah, this lake has been a lot of fun at night casting red fins at the bank. Oh, you can put big numbers summertime. up. Summertime. Summertime. You can put big right? numbers up in the summer. Mm -hmm. Certain times. Make your arm sore with the red fin. Guys, I don't know if you could tell, I'm down here in Florida. I'm down here testing some transducers for Airmar right now, but I want to take two seconds here and let you know about a sale, an oil light sale here till midnight tonight. This is a limited edition green here. It's on the MR2 Pro Warrior. I love this light for navigating. Very tight throw. See how, how tight that pattern is? Very high candela, super intense. It's great for throwing light far away and not lighting up the deck of your feet and killing your night vision. Great light to have in the boat. It's waterproof, impact resistant. Got the tail cap charging. You know, you just drop the charger, it just sucks right to it. It has the pressure sensitive tail switch and it also has a switch here for, for your thumb. You can go through all the settings. I don't know if you can see on the, hold it down, it'll kind of cycle through them. Double tap for turbo, which is the highest. And if you can see the green light right there, that tells you the battery power. Awesome lights, man. Really great flashlights, they're not that expensive. Right now you can get it for 30 to 40% off until midnight tonight. All you do is click the link, get to it, check it out, man. You're gonna love these lights. Right here, keep an eye on this one. Close one? That front, that front board just got a little... Uh, this is right here on the inside? Got a little yeah. anxious. Sure do. Front board, back board just got it. There we go! Fish on, fish on, fish on! Catch him, baby, catch him! <laughs> wanna go back with this one? Oh, yeah, I, that's the one I was watching first. Pretty fish there, buddy. Yeah, brother. Just come up here and lift him. Come here and lift him. Pretty fish. 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 Pretty Oh God! He hit the board. Wow! Smacked the board. That board ticked him off. Did you see what a body on that I fish? Did. I didn't. Oh, he got him now. He swarped actually chewed at the board. See the rod tip still bouncing. I knew we shouldn't have went nowhere. We don't need to go nowhere. 